Wasn't there a thing in the 80s? Like a commercial? Like Charlie Perfume or something? Who do I blame? Blame it on book two. It could be like an Eyes Wide Shut, <laughs> Eyes Wide Shut commercial. Who do you blame? Blame it on book two. No, Calvin Klein Obsession. That's it. We could turn this into a whole Calvin Klein Obsession type commercial. Who do I blame? Blame it on book two. Hello everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, I'm starting a brand new topic series. I don't know what you want to call it. Blame it. Blame it on booktube. Mm -hmm. I got influenced and I bought some books. Stay tuned. And remember, before we get started, I would appreciate it. And it really does help the algorithm. It really, really does. So let's spread the word and give me a thumbs up. I am like a bear. Okay. My animal instincts are coming out. And I know there's going to be a famine. There is going to be a book buying famine. And what do we do before the famine? We feed feast. That's what we do. We feast on yummy, yummy, delicious deal books, new releases, Kindle deals, all of it, all of it. And I'm, I'm hitting it hard this week, this month. Oh, am I hitting it hard? <laughs> because I know it's going to take me, Ooh, it's going to take me a while to complete the challenge. I know this. It's going to be faster than last year. I didn't complete it last year, but I'm going to complete it this year. I am completing it this year. So in preparation of that, I bought some books. What I bought today, I got to make sure I have them all. Hold on. All right. I have one more. I have one more coming in the mail. So it's not here yet, but I'm just going through with my video. Okay. So, okay. I got these today. And the reason why I got these today is because, um, I treated myself. I had a hair appointment today. Look, look all right. Okay, good, 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 good. I had a hair appointment and I had an extra hour to kill. And I said, I'm going to go to the bookstore and I'm going to buy myself some books. And I did. <laughs> so what did I get? Um, this is a blame it, not on booktube, but over at bookstagram, there's, um, one or two accounts that I follow and they keep talking about this book. So I'm not going to mention the person. Um, I don't think they're on booktube. I don't think they watch booktube, but they will know who they are. It's Black River Orchard by Chuck Wendig. This sounds so good. I've never read Chuck Wendig before, but this sounds really good. So of course there's a lot of blurbs on the back by all of our favorites. Here we go. Mm, ready? Watson's growling. Maybe he doesn't like this book. <gasps> okay. It says, A small town is transformed when seven strange trees begin bearing magical apples. In this new masterpiece of horror from the best-selling author of Wanderers and the Book of Accidents. It's autumn in the town of Harrow. But something besides the season is changing. Because in that town, there is an orchard, and in that orchard, seven most unusual trees. And from those trees grows a new sort of apple. Strange, beautiful, with skin so red it's nearly black. Take a bite of one of these apples, and you will desire only to devour another and another. You will become stronger, more vital, more yourself, you will believe. But then your appetite for the apples and their per peculiar gifts will keep growing and become darker. This is what happens when the townsfolk discover the secret of the orchard. Soon it seems that everyone is consumed by an obsession with the magic of the apples. And what's the harm if it is making them all happier, more confident, and more powerful? Even if something else is buried in the orchard besides the seeds of these extraordinary trees, a bloody history whose roots reach back to the very origins of the town. But now the leaves are falling. The days grow darker. It's harvest time. And the town will soon reap what it has sown. Bum, bum, bum. Doesn't that sound... 
Doesn't that sound delicious? Yeah, it sounds delicious. And there's Chuck. Mm -hmm. And he's super active on social. Follow him on Instagram. He is a wonderful follow. All right. Then I picked up, I did something that I usually don't do, but for some reason I saw it and I wanted it and I had it. And I'm like, you know what? Just support your only bookstore that you have. Get your points, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I picked up this. <laughs> it's a reprint of a paperback from hell. This is When Darkness Loves Us. When Darkness, with Darkness, the Terror Begins. And this is by Elizabeth Engstrom. Uh, this is a new... Um, they make the... It's weird. They make the cover... I don't know if you could see that. See how the cover is there? They make the cover look old. But it's not. Is that a Greedy Hendrix trick? Maybe. Maybe. See how it is on the bottom there? It's brand new. Like that's it's trickery. <laughs> um, so yeah, so these are from Barnes and Noble. Um, Barnes and Noble has exclusive editions now with a little forward from Grady Hendrix. So I'm like, you know what? Let's check it out. Let's try it out. Uh, I did do an eBay search for this. The hardcover you can find pretty easily. There's another edition, um, but for this particular cover on the paperback, it's pretty tough and it's pretty expensive. So um, I'm like, you know what? Let's just let's just do this. Get your points, you know. Check it out. So this is when darkness loves us, and I think a subscriber told me about this, and I always remembered it. They said it stayed with them for a long time, and I'm like, okay. So here it is in my house. All right, let's read the back. Do you know about this book? Have you read this book? Comment down below and let me know. Sally, Anne, and Martha, two women searching for love, finding terror. During a terrifying storm, a gentle childhood is destroyed by a twisted man who promises love but delivers nightmare. In the lightless depths of an underground labyrinth, unseen creatures lie in wait for an innocent traveler cold skeletal hands stretched out in welcome there is horror in darkness horror made greater this long-awaited reissue of elizabeth engstrom's 1985 horror classic features an introduction by paperbacks from hell author grady hendrix as well as the original foreword by science fiction legend theodore sturgeon and the original cover painting by jill bauman and I think, is it Valancourt? Valancourt does these reprints? No, this one is by Quirk Books. Hmm. Unless Valancourt overheads. I don't know. This is Quirk Books Philadelphia. All right, Philly, I'm supporting a local publisher. All right, let's go, let's go. Cool. All right. So that was that one. So I blame that one on my subscriber. Okay. I think they told me about it like last year or something. All right, this I picked up off of eBay from Better World Books. This I blame Criminali. Have you seen his shorts? Mm hmm. They give you a bookmark now. Better World Books. Doo -doo -doo. So, um, this is an author that I've read previously. Ollie in his shorts talks about a random book from the shelves. Well, I had to get this one box. Mm -hmm. Did you hear about it? Did you see it? Yeah. Um, this is by Nicholson Baker. I've read the Fermata by Nicholson Baker, and that was a fun trip. I knew about this book, forgot about it, and then Ollie mentioned it, and I'm like, gotta get it. Vox is the story of two voices, his and hers, two strangers who, having met on the telephone chat line, remember the chat lines from the 80s, like the party lines? <laughs> Uh, switch to a private one-on-one -on -one connection and find it impossible to hang up. Literate, contemporary, erotic, Vox is certain to be a classic of bedside, a classic of bedside reading. That's a, that's a high accolade right there. This is the UK edition, which is cool. And this was written before the Fermata. The Fermata is trippy. And this was published in 1992. Mm -hmm. Vox. All right, and then I got a gift in the mail. Yeah. I got the most wonderful, wonderful book. And thou shalt remain nameless, but you know who you are. It is um, The Best of Jules de Grandin. And this is by Seabury Quinn. This is the occult detective in some circles. 
there's 20 classic occult detective stories in here. 20. Now, I have volumes one and two on the Kindle for the five volume set. This is a best of that pulls the best out of those five volumes. So I'm still on the hunt for those other three books, but this is fantastic. A collection of the 20 greatest tales of Jules de Grandin, the supernatural detective made famous in the classic pulp magazine Weird Tales. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And I am here for it. Oh gosh, this book is a hunk. This book is, let's see, it's a lot. This is um, published by Nightshade Books. Um, they have all of the, the five in the back. So I have Horror on the Links. And I have The Devil's Rosary. There's two more. There is The Dark Angel, which the cover looks really good. And Arrival Grave. Arrival from the Grave. Is that it? Arrival from the Grave. And, oh, wait, there's another one. Uh, Black Moon. Yeah, so there's three more out there that I have to get. But, yeah, so this one, I'm going to dip into this one this weekend for Occult Detective October. Do you know about Occult Detective October? I bet you do because a lot of people are talking about it. And if you like a little mystery and you want to spice it up for spooky season with a little supernatural, a little occult, a little something or other, perfect starting point. Perfect starting point. Kindle has these on deals quite often and it's worth the price of admission for $1.99. So that is my little book haul. That one I can't blame because it was a gift. So I can't blame that. All right. So I hope everyone is doing well. I'm going to do a Kindle edition on this type of a video because I, bought, I think I bought like three or four Kindle books today because they were so good. There were so many good deals out there. And then we're going cold turkey, y'all. We are going cold turkey and it's going to be a trip and I need all of your support. I really, really do. All right. So that is it here for me, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I will see you in my next video, whether that be sooner or later. So until next time, goodbye for now. Blame it on me. <laughs>